Hello everyone. Welcome back to our classes for CMA Inter. That is paper number 10, Corporate Accounting and Auditing put together. Okay. Before getting into this paper, I will just give my short intro about it. Myself, Sudarshan, who has taken classes for CA Foundation, CMA Foundation, CA Inter and CMA Inter as well as CSET and CS executive levels. I have been into the teaching for the past four years, almost three and a half years. It is, we can say it is a four years. And especially I will handle the practical papers like accounting, financial accounting, corporate accounting, cost accounting, financial management, and management accounting as well. And before getting into this subject, we will need to know what you can expect from this course, what you can expect from this corporate accounting paper. Basically, it is paper number 10 in a corporate accounting and auditing in syllabus 2022. Okay. In this paper, obviously each paper is you are going to attempt for 100 marks. Each paper will come for 50 percentage. I am not saying 50 marks, it is 50 percentage. Okay. So, before starting watching those classes, those who are attending recorded also, those who are attending live also, first point I need to ensure is we will start from the basics. Okay, from the basics we will start. That is completely class is going to be 100% English. Okay, and this paper is a combination of words and numbers. Basically, you need to understand some theory part and then only you can be able to apply those techniques and you will be able to find out your answers. Next, our classes is going to be fully a conceptual classes plus what are the practical aspects which we are having. Like if you start with company accounts, that is, let's say the first unit, that is company accounts, we will start. At that time, we will go to how it is practically works in the real world by analyzing the companies. Like this, we will study. For cash flow statement, financial statements, we will take the financial statements, we will take the cash flow statements from the companies and we will be able to solve those practically in the classroom, in the conceptual class. Practical aspects is regarding practical sum solving regarding from your module and other extra materials which we have prepared. Next, fourth point is we will give a comprehensive coverage over a contents in your entire module. Okay, some questions we will solve in the module, some questions which we have given more priority, more importance to that question, we will take it and we will solve it from different materials. Okay, that's a comprehensive coverage we, we are going to give. Then, fifth point. What I required from the student's point of view. That's the thing. Requires Solving more sums, okay, always you should do the sums along with me, take your pen and solve, don't do auditing, don't do just this is answer, this is answer, don't do like that, take your pen and solve and practice, here I want you to do two things, one, 300 pages notebook that is 
long size ruled notebook I need. Okay, for classroom session. Classroom session I need. Then, secondly, again 250 pages to 300 pages notebook. Same long size notebook for assignment problems. We, you can name it as assignment problem or you can name it as a workbook. Okay, whatever you can name it, you can name it. Okay, for that, I require the same kind of ruled notebook. Next. Sixth point which I want to ensure is this assignment problem or workbook nearly comprehensive of I am just speak about this entire corporate accounting point of view. Okay, I am going to handle the corporate accounting as well as I said. Auditing will be handled by that other faculty. So, assignment problem and workbook is exclusively which I have prepared and which I put my efforts, which I consolidated the important questions and the practical aspects of the question for that students exclusively for CMA Inter. So, this workbook, you can get nearly 200 plus questions. Okay. 200 plus question comprehensive of all those five to six modules in your study. Okay. Next. This before getting into the next point, this assignment problem and workbook you need to solve. Okay. Once you have solved this, you need to send the answers in the PDF format to the concerned mail ID or to the concerned mobile number to that faculty. That in this case, I am your faculty. So you are going to send it to me. After this, we will give you a solution to that. Okay, solution book we will give in. And you can cross verify. Again, if you have any doubts, you can come back to us. We will solve your doubts. That's how it will go. Okay, for those who are getting those recorded classes, this assignment book or workbook, will be available to you in ebook format at free of cost in the course itself. Suppose if you want to have a physical copy of the book, you need to get it from us. As separate cost, you need to get it from us. Next. Solutions in the classroom. will be discussed in detail during the lectures itself. And one more thing I want to discuss with you. Always watch the lectures at the standard speed or normal speed. Don't watch it at 1.25, 1.5. X speed, don't do that. Always watch it on the standard speed to get more clarity towards the subject. The one thing should be noted is you are purchasing the classes to learn the concepts, to learn the techniques, not to complete the entire course within those time. That is will be a last thing. You are going to complete, but you should have a proper Discipline to watch those classes in standard and normal speed. I have got so many inquiries before starting the class itself. So many of them are college goers. They may watch the classes in a, more than a normal speed. So always watch the classes on the standard and the normal speed. In this first one, we will read that question. Okay. While reading the question, it means we will interpret it. You will do interpretation. Like what you are studied in law or what you are going to study in law, that like law interpretation we will do. That same thing, question interpretation we will do. Then, second. Based on the 
interpretation, we will segregate the data, segregate the question or segregate the data into two. One is what they have given, what they have required. Okay, based on this, we will do. And we will follow some sequence towards the step. That is interpretation of the question given and required, some solving and working on. This is our sequence for most of the questions we will do. Next, finally, we will do a solution to it. Okay, I am not going to fix it. This number of hours I am going to take, this number of hours I am going to take. But if I tell this classes is I myself and our Hari Academy is not focused on the hours of content. We will only focus on the quality of the content. We will only focus on the conceptual technique of the content. Okay. So here I myself inter I, if I myself feels that this classes that exclusively corporate accounting itself will go up to 80 plus us. 80 plus us. Even first module which you are having in your curriculum, it itself will go for 30 to 40 hours. Very easily. Okay. So make sure you are focusing on the classes. Then one final tip which I am going to give. One main thing which I am going to tell you is what is our target in this paper? In entire paper, paper 10, your target is 70 plus. What is your target? 70 plus. Then if you bifurcate paper 10A, paper 10B. Paper 10A, your target is 35 out of 40. In paper 10B, your target is 35 out, sorry, 35 out of 50. Then in this paper 10B auditing, your target is 35 out of 50. Okay. So this is your target towards the paper. So when we add together, when we aggregate together, we will get 70. Over and above getting 70, it's in your hands. By attending these classes, you will learn the classes with good conceptual clarity. I will assure you that concepts. We never follow. This is a format you need to remember. This is a format you need to mug up. Like this, we will never tell. That's corporate accounting, especially in my paper. I will make sure you have a practical aspects towards the subject, which you in the real world, which you works. Okay. I wanted the students to take four pens, four color pens to attend those classes. Blue, red, black, and green. Okay. Use these four color pens. Okay. While making a notes. Okay. So those who are using the pen, make sure you are using the same pen towards till the examination. Okay, because it gives you a grip, it gives you a speedness. If you use the same brand, same pen, it is up to you what kind of pen you are going to use. Basically, I will use very 5 rupee or 10 rupee a basic pen, which we will possibly to write it in a good way. It, if you do that process, it has already been tested in the previous batches. It is proven that you will get a good speed and the hand should not be getting pain. So make sure you are following this. Okay. Next, we will be, this is a basic introduction which I want to give towards that, what is you can expect from us. Next, shall we go to KYC? KYC. What is KYC? Those who are going to start with paper 10, A, that is a corporate accounting, which is I'm faculty. So it is nothing but know your content. 
not customer this is a basic term which i used in the bankings that is like kyc that is know your customer like in this kyc is know your contents that takes when i start with as usual i will tell it is paper 10a it is paper corporate accounting in this corporate accounting 10 session a is basically of five modules how many modules you are having five modules in this your module one it's a very huge module in this entire paper 10a which consumed lots and lots of time the time which you are going to give it for auditing it's equals to the time which you are going to give it for module one module one alone i am especially speaking and this paper 10a is an exemption paper in all the time even it is in the old syllabus even it is in the new syllabus 2022 it is going to be an exemption paper only if you know the concepts logically if you mug up the concepts if you study only those importance it will never work come to module one module one is accounting for shares and debentures in this basically we have divided this entire we are having five modules but we have divided this modules five modules into 20 chapters okay based on each and every chapter we will go through our first chapter is issue of shares and for feature of shares. Okay. Then our chapter number two is rights and bonus issue. Our chapter number three, which we are going to study about sweat equity shares. The Law concepts of rights issue, bonus issue, sweat equity shares, which you have already studied in your paper number five in the new syllabus, that is business law and ethics, you have studied it properly. And this chapter number one, issue of shares and forfeiture of shares, which is already be there in your become syllabus or BBA syllabus, or if you can tell to 12th standard syllabus also, both for state board, both for CBSE, you are having those. Then, chapter number four is ESOP. That is one of the best techniques which have provided the shareholding owner's capacity to these employees is employee stock option planning. Okay. Then, chapter number five is basically about buyback of shares, which is one of the best corporate techniques which has been used by the company to safeguard their shares. To safeguard their shares, they will use this technique. Then, next thing which we are having is chapter number six, that is redemption of preference shares. Redemption of preference shares. That's the next thing which we are having. Chapter number seven is issue and redemption of debentures. Issue and redemption of debentures. Next thing, our chapter number eight, what we are having under our content is underwriting of securities underwriting of securities that is our chapter number eight basically in our class module one is divided into eight chapters okay next when we come to module two what we are having is preparation of statement of Profit and loss and balance sheet as per 
schedule 3 of companies at 2013 this is our thing which we are studying in this preparation of statement and balance sheet profit and loss and balance sheet it doesn't not only specify the company's performance this module 2 leads and way to module 3 that is your cash flow statement Okay, basically, we will consider them as your one chapter. Entail, if I want to bifurcate, I can do, but I don't want to bifurcate that into so many different chapters. Okay, then come to module three. This module three is basically about cash flow statement. Okay. It is specifically, if I want to tell, it is AS3 revised. Okay. AS3 revised. It is a basic thing which is comes from the accounting standard 3. This cash flow is an important thing for a company's point of view. Cash flow is a main source which interpret how the flow has been in the entire organization how much money which comes as an inflow to that and how much is as giving go to the outflow based on this operating financing and investment activities we have bifurcated the entire data under this cash flow statement is basically of two right one is direct method and one another one is indirect method okay module three it's also important from your exam point of view in exam point of view, it is one of the most important chapter from module 3 as well module 1. All the modules you will get each and every question. They never omit anything. I am speaking about the modules. I am not speaking about the chapters which I have taken. Your module 1 is comprising of all those subtopics which I specified in chapter 1 to 8. Okay. So... This entire thing which I want to study, you should give good preferences to module 1, module 2 and module 3. Basically, these three are more and more and more important from this your paper 10 point of view, from your exam point of view. But as far as your conceptual classes, practical aspects also, module 2 and module 3 which have more important towards it from practical aspects. Then getting into module four, that module four is basically of doing an accounting for banking, electricity, and insurance. Why it has been there in the CMA syllabus? Because as far as cost and management accountant is concerned, we have an exposure towards all kind of industries, especially in banking, electricity and insurance. In banking, electricity and insurance, we will have a cost cutting techniques and so much of different techniques which we have. When we getting into that sector as a banking consultant or an electricity in the electricity in many, if you know one thing, many governments as appointing and CMA for each and exclusive government center, that is electric TNEB, that is Tamil Nadu Electricity Board. They, they need one or two CMAs. In insurance commission also, they need one or two CMAs. Okay, many kind of insurance companies need cost and management accountant to know what is happening there. For that purpose, we are studying that electricity, insurance and banking as an Main, main perspective of included in the CMA syllabus. The full aspect, the entire practical aspect, how it is work, how it is going to work, you could not be able to identify from the module. Module looks like from some concepts will be given, some practical has been tested. This banking, electricity and insurance, when you go for an industrial training or you are going for a practical training in the industries, at the time, you will know how each and every division will works. Okay. That's how the banking, electricity and insurance company has been given to you. Then module number five. In today's world, many of them are omitting to study module five. 
that is an accounting standards could you believe us this accounting standards which have an equal weightage in your cma final as well in your cfr paper that is corporate financial reporting paper the same similar what are the accounting standards which needs from a cma perspective that kind of accounting standards you are going to learn okay in today's scenario we are not only going to study accounting standards along with this we are going to study in as also that is indian accounting standard this indian accounting standard which is also there in a, another advanced level in your cfr paper in your cma final it will be an another advanced level advanced concepts you are having a very basics few accounting standards are there advanced india as will be there in your cma final cfr paper okay so what you can do you should not you should never omit this accounting standards module 5 always you should give preferences towards module 5 also basically from this what you can able to understand you should give equal preferences to each and every chapter from your career point of view if you want from a exam point of view you are going with a different approach you are focusing on module 1 module 2 and module 3 as a main priority module 4 and module 5 as a second category of that subject okay so in your examination you may expect a question from 7 marks to 10 marks sometimes 15 mark 14 mark questions are there from module 2 module 3 they will give module 2 14 1 question module 3 14 mark 1 question that's all module 4 some some mark question module 1 some some marks question sometimes 9 mark plus 6 mark that aspects also they will go 9 plus 5 8 plus 6 any combination permutation they will go then as far as module 5 is concerned accounting standards may be 4 marks 5 marks 6 marks 7 marks sometimes 2 marks 3 marks any numbers will be there in your marking system but we are not going to worry about the numbers in the marking system or in your examination we will fully focusing on our conceptual classes that's how for paper 10a know your contents that is kyc that's what regarding paper 10a is concerned It's a know your contents. How you are going to follow everything we have given to you. Okay, so this is a basic introduction. What you need to do, what you can expect, and KYC. That is know your contents in your syllabus. That's the thing. This is the first video which you have started in the in the very beginning of that year. So this classes is going to be a logical driven classes. You will come to the practical aspects. We will use many many. browsing softwares and applications to able to understand the module one according for shares how the company works how the company is issuing bonus bonus and right shares how the company is issuing the shares how many types of methods to issue of shares it's everything basically was studied from practical aspects wherever the practical aspects comes we will insert those and we will give with techniques also okay This is the entire thing which I want to discuss with you. So, with this end of this first video, take this as a thing and write down in your notebook in your first and second pages. And from the next class onwards, we will start with our module one, accounting for shares and debentures. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day.